Today's episode is set to difficulty mode expert. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And happy Mario movie premiere weekend to all who celebrate. Yes. Now, I'm not a gamer, but I like the little guy. I like the overalls. Yes, a very respectable profession. Yes. The world needs more plumbers. Yes. But uh, even if we're not gamers, you know, we're eaters. Uh huh. So, in honor of Mario's big weekend, the crew did some digging to see what the world of video game branded snacks looks like. And now we're going to find out if it's worth remembering. Mm -hmm. It's time for Memory Flavor, Memory Flavor, Memory Flavor, Flavor Match Video Game Snacks. All right, gentlemen, you remember this game. You're going to try a series of snacks that were marketed in connection with specific video games. And not only will you have to use the snacks context clues each round to figure out which video game it's connected to, but you'll also have to remember where it's located on our fabulous mythical memory board manned by the very lovely Chana Height. Hello. Oh, thank you. You've got a very lovely voice, Stevie. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. You can earn one point for correctly identifying the video game, one point for remembering where it is on the board, and there's a bonus point up for grabs in every round for the person who can name at least one other character from the franchise in question. Oh, mm -hmm. Whoever wins will be You're crowned video game yourself. snack prince remembering tin. Yep. Now, please direct your attention to the board. You're gonna have 20 seconds uh, to remember all of your video games and where they're located. This again. Chana, please. Oh, gosh. Why are we still doing 15? I thought I asked for four. You said 20. Oh, uh, my God. No, oh, I mean 15 oh. squares. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Don't look, don't look, don't look. No more. They always this look. This one's not turning, sorry. They always look. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, yeah. You, okay. can't, you can't stop okay. this. Can't all right, stop all right, all right. All right, let's see how you do. We have some beverages. It's clear, it's fizzy. Mm, thank it. Mm, thank you. What? It's just a drink. It tastes like a sweet tart. Is this a, is this an energy drink? What am I, I mean, what video game does it does it make you feel like you're drinking? Two, so you have a guess. Five. Um, I don't think like I can remember any games that were up there. There's, there's 15 choices, right? Just put down a number. Okay, so think about like the flavor of the beverage. Think about what type of beverage it might be. Um, both those things could give you some kind of clue, but I'm really glad I'm not playing this. <laughs> yeah, I've got it. I've got a, a semi-educated guess based on something I remembered on the board. Man, okay, okay. I thought, hey, I'm just gonna guess Halo. I think that was in number one. And you well, know, because it, it's an energy drink and Halo's a, a game that you need energy for. You're really switching up the handwriting for today's episode. Oh, is that, yeah, I'm not, I'm using your handwriting today. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, just in the mood. Uh, well, I thought it, I just came up with something called Cloud Juice from Zelda. Oh, you, what, why are you writing Cloud Juice at all? I, just we, write down the <laughs> freaking. Just because I'm, I'm trying to show you my thought process. And uh, I thought it was tile number 12. Okay. Which I'm right. almost sure it's not correct, so. Yikes. Okay. You just had a. Peach rings flavored beverage from the Gamer Focus Energy Drink brand G Fuel, and rings are an iconic part of this video game franchise. The energy burst from this drink is especially useful for the character in question since he's famously gotta go fast. It's Sonic. Sonic! Sonic's so, gotta go see. fast! Let's see what is behind one. Halo. Halo! See, I was worried oh. about that. Do I get a point for that? No, no, but I am impressed. And then 12. That ain't, that ain't Zelda. The Last of Us. Yeah, that's and a then, TV uh, show. Chana, why don't you go ahead and show us where Sonic is behind spot number nine. There he is. And this is peach flavored? Which, One second. Oh, gosh. You, did you break it? 
No. <laughs> it's peach ring flavored. But peach is a a Mario character. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking about that yeah, too. Yeah, they 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 they've been fooled you. Bless you. <laughs> bless you. Good news. I think you, 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 I'm sneezing up what you were trying to call. Yeah, I was up. coughing something up. You're sneezing There's something up. in the air today. Did y'all put powder in the air again? Y'all put, yes, y'all, it's y'all, powder day. Maybe. Um, oh, warn a guy. You, you, you can get a bonus point here by just writing down on your boards another character from Sonic. Did you play Sonic growing up? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had Sega. The, I, had the, I had the Sega. I my had my cousin had the Sega, and I would stand. It has an extra button. Stand in front of the big TV and like jump around and. What, what do I do game. with the third button? Oh my gosh! They'll never come up with a controller with more than three buttons. That would be crazy. Right. Remember when we said that? And then when they did, I stopped playing video games. <laughs> did you come up with something? Yeah. What? Another character from well, the thing. Well, let's see it. Did you already write it down? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tails, man. I said Tails, too. I remember that. Yeah. Hey, you both get a point. Yes. Hey, we know video games. You, so can't, you can't fool us. Yeah, game of... You can't fool us with your peach boys. soda. This looks like a load of ice cream. <laughs> it's got green... It's mint. It's got green stuff ooh, I, in it. Ooh, I like it. What What? What are the green... Ooh, I like it. ...shards of glass... It's not shards of glass. It's just some. Thank sort you for of... not giving a sharded ice cream. I mean, uh... <laughs> Woo! that's so minty. Ah! All right. <laughs> I got no ideas. <laughs> I feel like you'd be playing a game and then it'd be like, you need to come. You need to. You need to find this and you need to take it to the. You need to take it to the the person who's on the far edge of the map. I gotta go from this side of the map to the other side of the map with this green stuff. You giving me some hints? Do you want a hint? No. Okay, so you're feeling better about this round than you were the first round. No, oh. I don't. I have a reason. I, I can't make that much of a connection, but you can't do, make man. heads or tails of it. Tails. There's only 14 options this time. If you can remember which one we did last time. Okay, ready? What did you guess? I thought it was like Minecraft. Before you said the thing about the Oh, button, it's a block. Look. Yeah, it's like shaped like a block. So it's like, like blocky like a Minecraft thing. Which I think is three. I don't know. Is that lapis lazuli or whatever? I, I'm sticking with Halo, <laughs> no, number one. Um, I know that... It's number one. It's He, he wears a green suit. Different and, handwriting this time, though. Yep. I used, um, I used my Aunt TC's handwriting. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, my hint was going to be the more you eat it, the less your clue exists because uh, it's Minecraft. Oh, it's an ice cream from the brand Nyx in collaboration with Minecraft. Um, but what is Emerald it? Emerald Hunters. Emerald. It's an emerald. Emerald Minta. I like it because it's just straight Sweet mint. style. Like it doesn't have chocolate. It's just mint. Light ice cream. Okay, and let's see. Behind one, we know we know is Halo at this point. Yeah. But see, he is green. Yeah, that's true, Link. Yeah. Kind of. This maybe. could be like his feces. <laughs> Let's see, three, P.O. No! Dang, that's Kirby. not right. And then uh, let's check out the real answer behind spot number it is, it is a... two. Yeah, oh, yes, top row. I knew that. Dang. Minecraft. Dang, son. Okay, Fire. any, any, so that character, that character's name is Steve. <laughs> Okay. So, you have to name another character from Minecraft. That's not Steve. There was a time in my life when I played this once on the show, and then there's one time in my life that I played this off the show, and it didn't give me a lot to go on. But I do know that there's an Ender Dragon. I don't know if that's how you spell it. Well... I don't know if this is a character, but there are creepers. Does that count? That's another, th- that's that's another sh- thing. That's just a type of character. Yeah, but... E- e- okay, you both get a point. Oh, shoot. What? See, but mine's very... Mine, there's one person you, that's an Ender Dragon. Yeah, his name is Enderman, I guess? But yeah, I did. think... Oh, oh, Enderman and Ender Dragon are separate. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Accor- according. There's one of these, but that's research. just that's like saying that's like saying. No, well, you know, there's. I was there's thinking of one specific creeper that it's I like developed a relationship with. Oh, we got little biscuits. Is this is this a cookie? Like a short it's a bread. Shortbread. Covered in powder. Not a great snack. I like little crispy dry cookies. Um, I don't remember seeing this. It's quite this. nice after that ice cream. Like if you if this was floating in the air, would you want to like punch it? Or grab it like a coin? Is that what you're getting at? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is the eyes of a certain... Or is it like know. something... It, it feels like maybe something that you eat in the midst of the game. For HP. Like a whey bread. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. 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 Okay. I'm, I'm going out on a limb. I feel like, you know, once you go past three buttons, I'm a little bit lost. And you know what? These days they're playing video games with keyboards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And a mouse. Um, Formulate your guess, loser. I'm in the lead. <laughs> I just see the future. Um, okay. I'll let you go first, because I'm pretty confident I'm right on this one. I think this is a little thing that Kirby eats to get power. Oh. Does Kirby eat things to get power? Yeah. I don't know, but Pac-Man eats things to get power. Oh, number what, seven. Was Pac-Man out there? Yeah, I oh. was. I was trying to send you into the future when I was going to the past because these are Pac-Man pellets, man. Oh, that's totally 100 percent right. You just had snowball cookies from Sugoi Mart. Snowballs become a big part of this game during its winter season, which is why they're from Animal Crossing. Oh, you Lando know that. is going to be loves, so loves the disappointed in me. He likes he likes it because it's it's non competitive design oriented gameplay. Are you still playing it? Yeah, he likes to he you know he likes to design worlds and decorate and there's and uh, Minecraft is too ugly for him. Well, <laughs> take him critique. take on the rest of those. Let's see um, what's behind. Sorry, me. Lando, I ate <laughs> off of one. Red ate out of, off the other. And seven. Oh, I thought I thought that Pac Man was a good guess. Pac Man, yeah, me too. Answer behind spot number 15. 15, down in the corner. And of course you know who that is. That's Isabel. Can you name anyone else other than oh Isabel? gosh, come on, I'm a horrible dad. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a Penelope, because those type of names are the names of their, those animals. Okay, I just know that, aren't they like farmers? Yeah, Farmer John. No. So there's so many characters in these video games that Brittany's looking them up and then giving me hand signs for <laughs> what's correct and what's not. Oh, does that it's mean fun. one of us is correct? There's, there's a different game going on back here. And uh, good news, Penelope is a name that's an Animal Crossing. I Farmer felt like, John how is do you not. know that? Because it's like a cutesy kind of a name. So is John. <laughs> uh, it's one of the so, cutest names. I pull one out my butt. And I got it! Yes! This looks really tasty. It's warm. What <laughs> is this? It's a stew. Is it gravy? Oh, this is like a curry. Yeah. It's like a chicken curry that's video game based? I'm really at a loss. I guess that it must be in the game. I'm just trying to remember any of the games that were up there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. There's no way this is right. Well, what'd you say? That I said right? it was Fallout because it had, it's like something you would eat in the apocalypse. Like some sort of like, all we could find is this old curry. It doesn't make sense. Because Fallout, I mean, it's kind of, it's apocalyptic, right? And Fallout, I don't know. It's about nuclear I think, stuff. I no, Fallout is like, it's a trapeze game. <laughs> I'm guessing Zelda. I think this is something that, um, I don't know, British fans 
I know curry is big in Britain. <laughs> Love the Zelda curry connection. So that was like sweet pork and corn flavored curry from Sugoi Mart. Curry is one of the most popular dishes in this country that the game is from. And in one of the most recent iterations of this game, you could even feed it to your team to heal them from battle damage. It's Pokemon. Ah! Oh. We were not right. Look at that. It comes in a little... Boy. That's... Look. This is curry? That's curry. Curry, curry. in a little card-shaped package. Yum! Let's see what is behind six. Fallout. Oh, I got it right. And I mean, 14. Wrong, but right. Yeah, see, we were... We, Legend of Zelda. We're good at remembering how wrong we are. That was the last one that I could remember. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played Fallout? No. And the answer behind five... And you know who that is, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's so many Pokemon. If we both don't get a point for this, this is gonna be shameful. Um, uh, uh, hold on. Well, here. crap, yeah, now that I've said on. that to myself. Um, anyone will do. Oh, you can't come up with anyone? <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I'm barely coming up with one. Yeah. Those are like non-Pokemon characters. This kind of sounds like it might be right. Uh, Deerling. I know Deerling is one. Uh. <laughs> What's so funny? He's cute. He's, Trevor plays a lot of games. He's been reacting this whole time. Okay. To this um, that was a hilarious answer. Okay. I know I get a point. All right. I think I've heard this before. Tolstoy. <laughs> <laughs> It's an author, dude. Yeah, I know that, but I think they named a character after him. It's a book writer. Yeah, a famous Russian novelist. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. But Deerling is one. Yeah. Yes. Uh. So Link gets a point. Alert. Every month we're releasing a new pin for our pen of the month mythical program. And whenever we release these pins, you only have 24 hours to get it. And this Monday... April 10th, we were releasing for 24 hours, Link the Human Knife. Check this thing out. Pretty cool, man. It's me as a knife skewering a tomato, which I love. You got, oh, I hate tomatoes. You love to I love them. skewering them, or just hating them. So you can get this thing at mythical.com uh, starting Monday for 24 hours only. So there's your heads up. Get this pen. Rep ya boy. Do it. And what do we have here? Some sort of a... Ooh, we got a little pasta with some meatballs. Chef Boyardee thing, but what is that shape? What is that? Let me eat it for a little bit. You're just going to taste it? I... I okay. Now I got to eat some because these these meatballs are very nostalgic. Um, There's little circles. I can't figure out what this thing is. What is that? I don't know, bro. I mean, two eyes and a mouth? Oh, this is a square one? Nope, oh, I accidentally ate it. <laughs> I was gonna spit it out. There's not a lot of them that are, in oh, here we go. Don't, uh -oh. I found one. I found one that, that looks like this. What is that? A little square. Oh, you found one too? I think it's an abacus. Um, What's that, child? I have a guess. It's a little bit strange. Man, I'm hurting. I am hurting for some video game knowledge. Um, I can't, I can't even, I can't remember anything that was up there. Um, okay, what did you say? I think it's kind of off-brand things from Mario. So it's not, it's like bootleg no, pasta? No, because there's like a, uh, what do you call the little uh, mushroom guy? And then there's- Toad? Yeah, there was like a well, toad. No, don't, don't. Don't, don't and, tell him other characters. That'll give him a point. Huh. And uh, and there's also uh, there was a fire. I thought I saw a fire uh, fire plant. Fire, fire guy. Fire flower. I flower. Just, I don't know what the abacus was. I don't know what any of it was. And maybe Bowser was in there. I couldn't tell. Metroid twelve. Okay. Remember we just Metroid? We had uh, spaghettios. Yeah, we did. In the shape of everyone's favorite Italian plumber, Mario. No. Yes. Nothing actually looks like anything from Mario. Oh, no, see, look, the fire flower was the giveaway for me, and there it is. 
And then the block, when you said the block, it was like, yeah, this is like the bricks and the thing. And then the Goomba, yeah, the Goomba is the thing I recognize. I did not recognize Mario at all. The Goomba. But the mushroom, see, yeah. I didn't Does it Mario. say character Shell. names on there? It's saying character names, isn't it? Stop looking. You can't use any of the. You can't use any you of can't the. Can't say Goomba uh, of those. Yeah, you can't use any of those. And you can't or say Toad what because Chana said. I didn't. I didn't say anything. Uh, let's see what's behind twelve. Metroid. The last oh, of us. I remember that. <laughs> Crap! But I say we've already seen that. And eight. Hey oh. now. Dang rat! It's a big round for. It's a big round for the redster. Uh, so I need to add. And now pick a character. So you got Bowser, Princess Peach. Easy enough. Correct, correct. Okay. Okay, what ifs? Oh. Blue. Mm. It's a blue drink. It's kind of. Um, tastes horrible. Doesn't taste like a real fruit that I know of. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, I couldn't. I mean, is it. I would say it's berry. So I had to say something? Maybe blue raspberry. What game has blue raspberries? I think I might know this one. Based on something that I feel like I've seen before. Okay, yeah, I have, I have an educated guess. Thanks to your guess earlier, I'm going for Fallout number six because I think that this is like a radioactive something. I don't know, man. There's something in Halo where there's like these little, I've seen, my kids played Halo for a little bit and I like, I feel like there was these little like. The blue bars. Blue things that they would take and like get health and stuff. Right? Like a blue juice or something? Blue juice, blue health juice, you know. So this is, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Nuka Cola, uh -oh. uh, made by Jones Soda. It's part of a collaboration with the apocalyptic video game in which Nuka-Cola bottle caps are used as de facto currency in Fallout. Dang, Link! You were right! And I'm pretty sure I nailed the location. Yeah, that's for sure it. Well, let's see what's behind one. Halo. And Halo. six. Woo! yes! I did it! This now is, and this is pretty cool packaging. I do like that. If I can name a character from Fallout, Berry Lemonade so Soda. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to think of a character from Fallout. Oh, because <laughs> I could tie. Stop stroking that. I love stroking it. You like stroke stroke sequence? I'm a sequence stroker. Have you felt my jacket? No, Chase, Donna. I'll stroke your jacket later. Cool. Okay, what's yours? John. <laughs> you just came up with John? Well, I mean, I went a little generic, but then I decided to make it specific. James Batiste. <laughs> okay, well, somehow you're, you're both kind of on a minor character name that does exist, but you're both wrong. Like, the character's name is Jean Baptiste Cutting. What? So, like, you're, you're both in Baptiste. between. Jean yeah. Baptiste. So, even if I give you both a point, the result is still the same. Link, you are the Prince Remembering Ten of today's game. Congratulations. Wow, that hat's really becoming something. <laughs> <laughs> I would have bet against this happening. <laughs> you probably did too. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Eva. And I'm Joe, and we're from Daytona Beach. And for Joe's birthday this year, we've been doing an advent calendar, 30 gifts for 30 years. And today I just opened, we're still good. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel of mythicality. mythicality. We're still good. 30 gifts. Hey. Pretty great. Click the top link to watch us solve your problems with AI and good mythical more. And if I don't know where the mythicality's gonna land. Mythical beasts assemble. April's pin of the month is releasing this Monday and will only be available for 24 hours. Get it while you can at mythical.com.